bitch, I had to learn. My bitch kinda aggravate, yeah. I might pop a perk. I say Jonah got a job. Oh, oh wow. Ch -ch Testing. We always have the worst luck with mics. Oh shit, I'm like a real YouTuber now. Look, I can stand all the way over here and the audio sounds crisp. Yeah, if you just get a mic and a cameraman to follow you around everywhere you go, that's how you can succeed in 2024 as a YouTuber. But anyways, we're doing vlogs again. You guys have been asking for them. We're actually really excited to get back into the flow of things because we've grown over the past year. We didn't do that many vlogs. Oh. I'm getting a phone call. Let me call this guy later. Sorry about that, always making moves. Uh, yeah, we're gonna start doing some more vlogs, more personal stuff. We wanted to upgrade it this time and test out the mic thing. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to our other mic, but I do think these had a nice little crisp sound. So right now, I just cooked my breakfast. I pretty much eat this same meal every single morning. I have a scrambled omelet. Usually do like two or three eggs. I put pepper, paprika, salt, uh, black pepper, and then I usually, put, I usually put peppers in. I usually have cut up peppers and onions that I put in it, but I ran out of that right now so i've got my scrambled omelet and then i have my turkey bacon and i have a hash brown with every meal i have to dose it with hot sauce the only one i have right now is the stevo hot sauce for your butthole unfortunately that's all i had but i usually have texas pete hotter sauce and i usually get them in packs of like 24 so my next batch touches down on friday and i'm really excited for that i'll actually go to restaurants and bring a hot sauce bottle with me and then just pull it out because some places have like tapatio and i don't really want that or they'll have tabasco and that's like not enough for me besides the other one that I use the Stevo hot sauce is pretty good, so I'm gonna test out what I made. Ah, very, very good. If I wanted to, I could probably finish that whole bottle in one setting, but because it's the only bottle I have right now, I'm definitely not gonna waste it. How do you guys like your eggs? Do you guys like them fluffy with butter where they're like not as healthy, but you can make them really, really big or sunny side up? I prefer scrambled. And even with omelets, I don't like the omelets folded over. I used to, but now I need that shit runny and scrambled. I need it messy. I've recently been adding, I burnt it a little bit, but I'll put spicy sausage in all of my scrambled omelets and I just, Makes it taste way better. Today we're gonna do some fun stuff. And somebody's coming up the stairs right now. Who's here? Where did you come from? Ryan got the groceries and shit. The damn grocery store. I told them that now that we have a mic, we're like actually YouTubers. Oh, we're full blown YouTubers. Like, and we actually have two mics. We haven't put the other one up yet, but I'll just talk over here the whole time. <laughs> I just got like a thousand protein drinks. I'm trying to get larger, so you're trying to bulk right now. I'm trying to bulk, and I like I have no appetite for things, and I can't eat that much, so I have to get my protein with this shit. I've never really had the muscle milks. If I don't eat enough, like protein. Does, does this really supplement for it? Or do you have to have food that's like, you have to eat stuff? From an actual health perspective, actual chicken breast and actual like protein from an actual authentic source is better than synthetic. It'd be better to have a chicken breast, like 180 grams of chicken breast than 180 grams from this chocolate bullshit brownie shit. But if you're running around all day and you need to just keep getting extra stuff. But I can't, like, I can't even chew. Like, oh shit. I'm an actual grown man baby. So <laughs> even the chicken breast, like I'll eat it. Like I got a little chicken from Panda Express right now but so how many do you drink a day because you got holy shit you have a whole bunch so i'm gonna start with like one of these with each meal one for breakfast one for lunch one for dinner i feel like you could just eat yeah i can eat i can eat <laughs> i'll be hungry and then i'll eat a little bit and then i'm like oh, I'm full. <laughs> all right so my neighbor emmy uh her boyfriend has this like boosted board i don't think boosted boards are even like still a thing right now but he's gonna let me borrow this for the day apparently this thing could go 30 plus miles an hour because there's different modes i'm gonna go on easy mode the reason why i'm bringing this out is i wanted to do content kind of like Casey Neistat where he's kind of like on the board and shit, except I was gonna have Matt, who I'll show you guys shortly. He's our cameraman. And I wanted to see like if he could potentially ride the board and film at the same time. That's almost like a, it's a very dangerous uh, role that I would be giving him, but I'm gonna do it first. I'll hold the camera too and we'll see. I'm gonna pick up some speed real quick. Damn, this shit kind of fast. What up, what up? I'm Matt, new filmer. I did this in college last year or two years ago. I haven't done it since, so we're about to see if I can uh, bring if you it back. Fall off your fire. You know? Feel it out. Feel okay, it out. okay, okay. Oh, I can tell how quick it is. Just like riding a bike. Wide turns. Ooh, six miles an hour, 10 miles an hour. 15 miles an hour, it's, it's solid. Gotta work on the turns. That was literally Matt's first uh, 30 seconds on the on the board and I'm already trying to have him hold the camera. I didn't know if the camera was heavy enough to hold it in one hand and then if that was gonna be a problem if you needed two hands, but I wonder if there's something, like how heavy does that feel? Too bad or not too bad? Cause I was trying to do some like Creed montages for y'all. You know what? You look like a natural. I feel like you've already done this. We are also literally on the, the worst pavement. This shit is uneven as fuck. The fact that you're still holding it is decent. You guys saw me just eat my breakfast. I don't think you're supposed to eat a full meal and then work out right after. You're supposed to wait that, what, 30 minutes to an hour? If I get a cramp, it's because I'm doing it for the vlog. All right, so Matt, he passed. He low-key kind of like hustled me. I saw him get on his board and he was like a little too smooth with it. Like I'm over here, like in the back of my head, please don't fucking fall, please don't fucking fall. Matt, we're walking back. He just said, let me say that real quick. And just kind of went 20 miles an hour down the road like it was nothing. So he is perfectly qualified for this job.
All right, now I'm on my Casey Neistat shit. Here we go, out here. Okay, damn, Casey really be doing this at like New York City and shit. I'm on like an empty, empty road. Very, very safe. The sidewalk is very, very even. Damn, I'm looking at vlogger now. We ain't even got the gorilla pods no more. I got like a monopod. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna take this thing for a spin, see how it goes. Officially a vlogger now. Moved from a filmer to a vlogger. Hopefully I don't eat shit. 23 miles an hour. Supposedly this thing goes 35, so close to top speeds. It's smooth, going on the sidewalk. Yeah, this thing is fun. Oh my God, I'm gonna just eat it. There's a bump. I had to be careful. You can get humbled real quick on this thing if you uh, hit a bump and you ain't ready for it. All right, turn around. Can't turn as well as I, as I probably should. This is day one, we just picked it up. Got the boosted board. Feeling like Casey Nice had. Yeah, that's sick. I think we'll definitely be using this more and more. Why not, you can get some sick shots. No one wants to train, and so maybe I can, when he's uh, like training and running and shit. This thing's legit. I almost ate it once. Oh shit. Little, little bump. This thing is cool. Very, very success. Cause I wanted to do a vlog where like I ran a mile really fast and I just wanted somebody to follow me on the track. So I think this is what we'll use. I'm getting to an age where my mind thinks I can still do this shit, but I gotta just be careful cause one wrong thing and I break my fucking leg. But actually it's kind of working. Hope my butt crack ain't showing. Holy shit. Oh, there's a stick. <clears throat> I feel like I'm in Mario Kart. All right, so my new friend. Let's see if we can get Rob or Ryan to try it. I was actually just sitting here getting more depressed because this guy, Brian, I don't know how to say his last name. He's a reptile influencer. He's gone. Yeah, for those who don't know, people know the lore on the channel that I'm a reptile enthusiast, but I had been following this guy and then I saw he had a, I believe pancreatic cancer diagnosis. And I saw that and I was like, bro, fuck. And then he, I just got the notification on the, the channel that it was like, this is goodbye. And then I'm watching him and he's obviously, he said he's going into hospice and all this stuff. And it was making me just think like, like I think about some things on the YouTube channel, like, oh man, pe people might not like me or, or I think about people's opinions sometimes, whatever. And I'm like, what do you think he was thinking when he's like, you're going into hospice? What really matters at that point? Bro, hospice is literally for the people that have like, less than two weeks left. I've seen people there and it's, it's a very sad because you just you just know you're gonna go. So it just happened today? It, I don't think it was today. I think it, they announced, they did like an announcement today, but 10 days ago he made the this is goodbye video. Isn't it crazy how like, what he looks, what he looked like right before. Like his hair all went very, very white and that, and then probably just a couple months earlier. Yeah, it makes you think like what really matters mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Like if you got a call that was like, you got a year left, brother. I mean, I'm sure like him even waking up in the morning was probably a blessing, like woke up another day. And that sucks, you know, people have stuff in their genetic, their family history that some people can't beat. Like you just have to accept it. But we're like so privileged right now. We get to do YouTube and even just waking up. I was just outside on a boosted board. I'm sure anybody that has some type of illness would chill to be able to just do something fun. Yeah, so it just made me, all your current problems that you're facing, just anybody that's watching, I'm sure everybody has problems of different magnitudes and this happened in my life and this person happened and I just lost my job and this yeah. happened, but everybody's gonna turn to dust. If you can find a way to sort of have an inner dialogue where you're just happy to be here, and I keep telling myself, I'm just happy to be here. Life. Make sure you live life too. We always talk about the grind, 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 grind. Yes. Do that, but don't forget to live life. At least he got to do what he wanted to. He got to make, he had a successful YouTube channel, very successful career outside of this. Had a whole place that he loved and took care of it. He was in a whole bunch of YouTuber videos and everything, so. And I would watch these videos and he never knew who I was or never knew I existed. He still had an impact on me and even yeah. him going through this even impacted me. So sometimes you never know who you're impacting or who. Yeah. Like you could've just lost, somebody could've just lost a job, somebody could tragedy in the family, friend, whatever, and then people get to, you know, use videos to Escape, man. Appreciate every second you got. Damn. Damn. Every day above ground is a great day. Yo, Rob, did you see that Juice World's ex, Ali Lati, is going viral for allegedly trying to sell a sex tape of her and Juice World? And this is not like AI generated, this is the actual thing. Nope, she has like a screenshot of the video on her OnlyFans saying, banging my famous ex. All these hackers are trying to release my sex tape with my ex fiance Juice World. I don't give a F anymore. I'll leak it myself. I'll leak it myself. It's been a long time since I've been banged with a, with a rough big black blank. Well, I can't be threatened anymore. Here you go for $29.99. My thing is like, why can't they just let, let them rest in peace at this point? I, I feel like she's already ruined his reputation. So like, bad. His legacy to the point where it's like disrespect to the max. It's fucked in another way just because I could tell in all the old videos that he clearly loved her. And I'm like, do you think she loved him as much as he loved her the whole time? For somebody that was with him literally till the end, she was really there that, that day that he passed as well and from the airplane to when that whole thing happened in the airport. If you really cared about somebody, you would not be trying to get a quick buck 
off of a sex tape y'all two shared together for the public. But if this is real and she drops this and people buy this, there's a special place waiting for you somewhere else. That's it's all. It's like, yeah, people are devious and you sometimes don't know their true intentions and what they really are wanting out of certain relationships. So it's like, you would like to think that they loved each other and she loved him, but did she really love him if she's doing this to him now after he's dead? Last year when she got a boyfriend, she gave him Juice's Rolex to wear in like a photo. I'm like, why are you touching this stuff? Like, who does that? Like, that's Juice World. I'd be putting it in a shrine or some sort of like shadow box in my room, like Juice World's jewelry, like. And how disrespectful where, she already made OnlyFans first off. Like, damn, bro, like, and now you're over here begging for money, trying to potentially leak a tape that y'all had. I'm like, bro, if she has something yeah, dirty, what if she has like X-rated videos of him doing stuff to her, her doing stuff to him? She's just like selling them one by one as like a video on her OnlyFans, like it's some game. Yeah, that's sad. And what's sad is that she's like way older too. I think she's like pushing, she's like almost 30, if not 30, and he was a young kid that didn't just got turned 21. Anyways, we're uploading a video today. Thumbnails I think we have like a team of like editors and like thumbnail makers. Yeah, it just kind of happens right here. We reacted to the Cat Williams interview with the Shay, Shay what's the podcast called? Shannon podcast? Sharp. Uh, Shannon it's Sharp. called. Apparently that was a big, big podcast, but I'm not much of a sports guy, so I wasn't aware of it. But yeah, we reacted to it, so we're gonna put that out. And I don't know, we're trying out new formats this year of like thumbnails, because we're trying to blow up on the on this channel, so. I'm trying to see what works. This one's not gonna have our face in it, apparently, so. Do you like seeing our face in the thumbnail? Does that help with the videos? I don't know. Yeah, you guys gotta let us know, because we don't know. We just do it. We just do it. Would you guys like there to be thumbnails where it's just the subject matter and not us? Or would you like to know that, oh, this is a Strawberry Park video because you see Ryan, Rob, or my face in there? What are y'all clicking on the most? Thumbnail-wise, not concept-wise, but like, if a thumbnail looks like this, oh, I gotta click on it. Y'all like the ones where like, my face is like crazy? <laughs> I have some reaction thumbnails. That's been a thing of like, like Noah just gets violated in the thumbnails, but it's like funny because he makes the funny It, it is funny. I have some faces that I can't get mad. It's my face. I made the face. Rob just wanted to use it that day. We touch on subjects that are relevant, interesting. We can't break 500K. One day we'll get the channel to be. It's all through that R watching. It's that, about that, the journey. Actually, I haven't even looked at the numbers. I don't even care. It's just a part of the journey. And you guys are here with us. I was curious, like, this is not a prime. This is just, a, I'm talking about energy drinks in general. What's a good balance? Like, I heard they're bad for you, but like, at what point can do you have to stop drinking them? I don't even have caffeine enough to give you an answer for that. I don't think it's good for me to be drinking energy drinks. I don't drink them every day, but like multiple a week. I feel like that's safe. But there's people, people that drink coffee every day. Okay, but did you hear about the um, Panera Bread energy drink that's killing people? No. It's well, like first off, up. why parent why Panera Bread got energy drinks? And they're still selling them. There's like a Red Bull charged up lemonade or something. I don't know what it's called. So but how did the person die? They drank too much of it? I don't know exactly, but I think there's been multiple cases. And so that didn't scare you from just drinking energy drinks? No, because I don't think this is as high as that Panera drink. But then again, it's like if I have two of them, you haven't heard somebody, that adds up. somebody died by the prime energy drink. I haven't heard that yet. I'm gonna get back on the Yerba Mate. Rob you know, used to be drinking those heavy. I, I tried to get a Yerba Mate sponsorship and then they just like didn't respond to me. They left me on scene <laughs> on Instagram and I was oh. like, bro, they don't even know. I've been drinking y'all for like years. And the only reason I've been drinking this is because they don't stop sending it to the house. Like we have like packs of prime. Bro, literally, we were like on the prime list or some shit. And it makes sense. They're like, oh, let me just annoy these the YouTubers and just send them Prime year round all year and then they just have to promote it. They have to drink it. See, we, we promote all energy drinks. The new Celsius. We only promote it if you're 18 plus. Do you believe that Kai Sinat's fan base is older than 18? Because he made a video saying, my videos aren't for kids. I think he he would have to say that to just save his ass. That's true. Then he can get away with more adult stuff. Like I did respect, he said on his Twitch thing or whatever he streams on, that it does say 18 plus before watching. So he does keep that on. I wouldn't want to make kids content, right? Like, I mean, he's an adult. I don't think his intention is to make kids content, but the reality is, is that there's only kids on these platforms. Like, very true. You don't see grown adults like on Twitch streams or like on kick streams, like tuning into these people every day. Like it's more of the younger generation that's keeping up, commenting, donating, Donating. So it's like you almost have to cater to them, but at the same time say it's not for them, which is weird. It's a very tricky line right there. A kid wouldn't even click on this and be like, the fuck are these guys talking about doing something crazy? Same thing with the Snapchat thing, like the new stop. There's not like, that's a mainly kid like platform. Right. Who's really clicking through all of those things. It's like, you kind of have to play the game at a certain point. But you guys should also follow us on Snap too, by the way, because maybe there's aren't kids that can follow us. Do you see how I just, I snuck in that like see? promo there? That's just, we're YouTubers. Because guys, like, you guys want us to make vlogs. We're gonna make vlogs, but obviously to go out, we film it, has to get edited, take some time, and it's all the behind the scenes so that you guys are gonna have fun watching. So we made 
made Snapchat so that you could literally see our daily lives like in real time. Like Rob's gonna make a snap right now. Literally right now, I'm gonna post it onto the thing just so you can and yeah, you just, be my friend. It's just gonna be a cool place where you can follow all of our lives, whatever we do throughout the week. And then we also have a strawberry park uh, at, somebody took the strawberry park at, so now it's strawberry with two Y's park. So just make sure you find the right one. Uh, but we're gonna be posting on Snap a lot. So definitely follow us there. But I I'm just like, bro, there's so many social media apps we have to keep up with. I have three followers. Okay. I have three followers on Snapchat. <laughs> this is the start of something new for me, guys. So can we get Rob to 1000 when this vlog comes out? Follow us all. We'll link it all down below we'll because down we're gonna below. be we're gonna be posting on here every day, like just random stuff throughout our day, personal lives. So you get you get to see this, but, the, but then you get to see an in-depth. You could see real vlogs in real time every day of us on Snapchat. For the channel you know we gotta make sure matt can pull up to film us we gotta make sure that we can go do something edit it but on snapchat like whatever we're doing in the vlog you could literally see real time when it's actually happening so that, i just think that it's gonna be we're trying to just be more connected with everybody rob has three followers because we didn't even know you, we should be on snapchat so and i don't know instagram's like weird now isn't it don't even get me started with social media <laughs> because i used to really like tiktok but now every time i scroll it's an ad ad after ad someone trying to oh, sell shit. something tiktok shop this i'm like i don't even want to listen to the ad like i watch a video and someone's talking about a book i'm like okay this seems like a good book they're like this book changed my life what did i and then at the end they like they say oh buy it <laughs> click the link i'm like i was really interested in the book but, but that was just a commercial this, for this was a forced character promoting a book tune in you you could have saw me do the 75 hard challenge i did it what you did all 75 days can i see the results i only did three days though yeah, i failed after three days how about all three of us do the 75 day hard challenge and we do a transformation video and we see who gets the best result i'm down i get why they call it they put the hard at that uh, in the, <laughs> behind the 75 Five, I get why they did that. Did you stop working out or? I forgot to read. I, I was gonna take a oh, nap. Oh yeah. The and reading. then I, I could have easily been like, well, I still worked out twice. I still did my workouts. I was on a diet, but then I didn't read. So I didn't want to. <laughs> okay. And then the app, I don't know if you, you ever download the app. Mm -mm. If you like forget to post or mark something like, and you go on to the next day, some guy will pop up like, like, are you sure? Like, don't lie. Like, don't lie to yourself. Like if you didn't do it, you didn't do it. Just restart. And I'm like, damn. I got this app yelling at me, so I'm not gonna lie. I, I got three days in. I'm gonna restart it. I'm gonna do it for you guys. I said on the vlog, I said, I might be able to get Rob to do it. I don't think Ryan's gonna do it. This thing, be careful. It goes 30 plus miles an hour. Okay, let me just test and, it out. Oh. And it shows you how many miles are on here. When you're riding, it'll say six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 12. Why did that go so quickly though? Kids wear a helmet. This is just for the vlog. We're just testing it. I'm not actually gonna ride it. I feel like Casey Neistat. No, that's exactly. Oh, okay. Well, who put the branch right there? Hey, let's get more of the smooth area. And then you get a little comfort, comfortable with it. Yeah, look at them go. They grow up so fast, man. Rob fucking crashes into a tree. Hey! Oh, yeah, you can hear me from here, right? Yeah. I forgot we're mic'd up now. Nah. I'm actually scared to fully accelerate this. Come back this way real quick. Try to reverse it. Try to reverse the whole way back. <laughs> I put reverse. It does go backwards from what I was aware of. I think the reverse feature is broken. Hold it. Hold it. Rob flies off the board. Maybe yeah, I think we might have broken it. Only. I've had a penny board before when that was a whole craze, like a whole trend. I was in college, like going to class on a penny board until I until I hit like a divot one day and I fell so hard, bro. And every, like people were looking, I didn't even go to class that day. I was all scraped up. I just went home. When I was younger, I rode skateboards, like street boards, I guess you would call it, where you would do tricks and stuff. I only knew how to do an ollie and kind of a shove it. I didn't never knew how to land a shove it, but I was, I guess like a poser. Like I wanted to be a skater, but I was never really a skater. You don't even got a pedal anymore on the bikes. It's all electric. Is this considered a workout? Like, you know, people would go out and skate. Oh, I'll go skate or I'll go bike. Like, you're still like, in theory, just standing. I guess it just makes it more fun. To be turning, don't gotta burn it like I do. I was in a pussy, it's bought it in fucking Caillou. I was eating gumbo from grandma's, it's from the bayou. I can't say that one. I could actually go like, pretty fast this way. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> This thing got some power, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I would bust my ass so hard on this. Because remember, 2024 is about trying new things. Do you, do you have a history of skating at all? I do, but like, not very good. Like, I can ride a skateboard, I can push and cruise. I never could do tricks. I was always afraid to go downhill quick, like mm. those longboarders. I'm like, bro, you hit one pebble and you're done. There's some thrill seekers out there, but even this, look at how fast it takes off. That's crazy. Oh, it, you got the double knees on, so just in case you fall. I, I couldn't even try this. It's like the hoverboard. It takes off, so. And you almost want to lean forward, too, to kind of counterbalance the weight. Mm. I would go like right. this. I remember a big DOS was on a pogo stick and then shattered his elbow and can not, never bend it again. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
I think I broke my arm. Oh, there's like a rod in there. And it's permanently stuck like this. And what's crazy, it'll like be those things you wouldn't even think about you'd get hurt from or like life-changing things like a pogo stick jump. Like, and it's like right here, it's, oh, we're just having fun for the vlog, doing an electric skateboard. And then I'm like, until someone's laying on the is floor. Is this allowed in the bike lane? Nah, Shit. Nah. Watch how a pro does it and then it might inspire you to like go. So if you're casual with it, like it's not even anything, like, oh, I'm just gonna go pick up some groceries. See you guys later. <laughs> and oh, it's like, it's just shit. what you do. I remember there was a girl that I, not that I knew personally, but a friend of mine, she was a dance, like a cheerleader dancer. And then her friend was a dance and did a backflip, broke her neck oh. and like broke her spine and is paralyzed from the chest down. You could take people out like this. <laughs> Look, can she still talk? She's just paralyzed? Yeah, perfectly normal. She's like 20. That's why it's like, you gotta wear your helmet. Or like, don't go on a skateboard if you're, you're not comfortable with riding something like this. And that's how you get hurt. No, I just seen Ryan Sheckler do a, a clip where he like, he jumped off of this like rock thing and then down this hill, like huge drop, no helmet. I'm like, you must be confident in your ability to just land that because one that's like funny. pebble, you're done. Helmets became like lame for some reason. Like no one wants to wear well, a helmet. How could you look dope wearing a helmet? Unless you're a biker, like a BMX, or like a like a full face case mm -hmm. thing. Then it's dope. How do we redesign the helmet? To make it look dope. Cool and like, I'll wear that. What are things that you can't look cool doing slash wearing? I was gonna say skateboard helmet. You cannot look cool wearing a skateboard helmet. Me. Or riding a scooter, like. You can't look cool riding uh, yeah, a scooter. Even if you do the craziest trick, like. Yeah, if you land a dope ass trick, you, bro, you got on a helmet. Having to hold on like right here like this and then push is just not, it's just not like, it's not cool. I was thinking of some other shit that you can't look cool doing, like when you trip, like a quick stumble, walking and shit. Bad trip, you can't play off. Like I did that recently. I tripped somewhere. At the gym today, actually, I tripped. And I was like, stupid fucking thing. You guys shopping with us. This is our favorite store, Dollar General. Oh wait, Dollar King. And and there's like 99 cent store, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Are they all in competition with each other? Like, I need to get to the bottom of these dollar stores. How much are these candles? 299. Excuse me, I thought this was Dollar General. I can get three things, and it's funny because it's just random. No like tie, like no. Oh, we're here to get frames and flowers. They're kind of. They have all your needs though, if you think about it. Anything you could think of, they have here. And it's not always about what's the most expensive. It's about what works That's and what you can afford and get. Okay, come on, Win Magic, we need that. This is like a Walmart, Joann's Fabric, Michael's, Costco, Home Depot, all in one. They got it all here. They're actually sleeping on the, the store here. Not with the dirty ass kids hand in there grabbing it and shit. Ooh. Wait, that's actually kind of lit. $4.99 though. They have, they have ones that are cleaned up. Okay, but it's, why is it open and why are we playing with that? <laughs> I guess it's dollar. Is there king. more than it's There's closed? More. There's more clothes. I don't smell like safe. This is my favorite section right here. In here, smelling shit. Oh, sorry. All right, we got to put together the Dollar King fit. They got the truckers. Got the Dollar King fit. They got the truckers. Come on, bro. We do like a strawberry part times Dollar King collab. Wait, no one's done that. So he. Brian here, bro. Logan Paul just can't stop him. Drinks are four bucks. They need to start rebranding these dollar stores because nothing's a dollar. When when did they come up with a dollar thing? It's like is this click clickbait? Four ninety nine king doesn't roll off the tongue. Ninety nine cent store just sounds good. Like when can you sue? Is remember when the 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 five dollar foot long like turned out to be not even a foot long? Like they were able to. Four ninety nine? Are you serious? Yeah, we found we found one thing for a dollar. I'll just yet. go to big. I'll go to big five or Dick Sporting Goods. <laughs> I came to the Speaking dollar of store. Dicks. Why do I feel like Balin Levine right now? <laughs> I used to be really into like Rubik's cubes and I used to collect them as a kid. I only was able to solve the, just the three by three, but they have some crazy stuff now. Yep. Slime. Oh, you get a magic trick. Cause you like magic. You did say you wanted some new house slippers. Yeah, these are like the, and up in my size. They have a uh, dollar, dollar king drops. Yeah, just make it a dollar and I would buy this. Who wants to be our Valentine's? Valentine's Day is coming up and there's a lot of stuff here that I can get you. So just, <laughs> just throwing it out there. Oh, I gotta get a balloon. What do you need for? Don't worry about it. I mean, at this point, it's like, why even take the time to set this out in the morning? Like, <laughs> come on, bro. But someone actively came out here and put the balloons on it. Like, oh, set up the- It's like, oh, I'm opening today. You have Grand opening. We still shopped here though, so. They don't really pussy, he don't want no beef. Yeah, he not even gangster, don't know what that mean. On the side where he be walking, never on the street. 
I just thought this was interesting because I've seen somebody's Instagram bio and it said, I add friends and family only. And that's the only thing that's on her bio. And I'm just thinking like, what's the point of doing that when you can just, just add whoever you want in your own time. Like you don't need to really let people know. What does their account look like? And it's, it's on private. Oh, just random ass. That makes me think of how people are so full of themselves these days. Like they think that their Instagram, like they think people care about their Instagram and care about what they're doing and saying. And it's quite the opposite. I think when I realized that I didn't care to post anymore. Cause I was like, ain't no one really give a fuck. Like no one really cares that much about what you're doing. No, because when you look at your phone and you see the 50 <laughs> likes or you see the 10 DM, people think, wow, this many likes. I must be kind of cool. Like it makes it people feel like everyone fucks with them. But really that's a very small subset of humans that are looking at your stuff. Everyone's a main character of their own movie. So and it's like, you want people to think that there's random people reaching out to you and trying to request to add you like. And if a stranger's trying to follow you on your private account, just delete, just block them, don't accept them. Then there you go. You don't have to worry about telling people you only accept. Like what's the point of even posting a story? Do we remember any stories that anyone posted today? I don't remember a single damn one. People are like, just hit my new PR today. That's great for you. But then again, it's like, so then why even follow anyone? Maybe only follow the people that you actually give a damn to hear about their life update. I just wish social media was back to when it was just posting random stuff and it would make more sense. I think that's why a lot of people are so hesitant to post nowadays because everything has to be so highly produced and so much edit edits and whatnot. It's like, you want to post them, but it's like, okay, why am I even posting this? Like, cause you think social media is just to post whatever about you, but then it's not even that anymore. But if you put your account on private, do you got to say, my account is even more private. Like I'm not adding anybody. It's like, what's the point of even having a social media app then? This is making me think of something random. If I've ever talked to like a like a random girl on IG or something, and I'm like, okay, yeah, what's your number? And they're like, oh, I don't just give out my number like that. I'm like, who? Hey, who are you? Like, ma'am, if anything, me giving my number to you is more of a risk. And if anything, giving your Instagram is you have more access to the person. You can look at their pictures all day. You can video you can, chat. You can check their stories, see what they're doing in real time. You can see who they're following, who their friends Shit. are, and then. Instagram is better than a number to me. Sorry, I don't give up my number. Bet I don't care. What's your IG? What's your snap? <laughs> I just don't give it to strangers that quick. I'm sorry. Are you are you Justin Bieber or something? I'm the same thing when people say like I'm taking a social media break. Like I'll be off the. Yeah, app. the tell us though. It's like why do you have to just take a break? You're not a on a break then. It's like I'm posting back. actually is taking you off the break. You could have took your break sooner. I need to do a purge right now on my IG because I don't even know half these people, <laughs> and I just need to let it go. Yeah, because then you watch people's stories for a year or whatever. It's like what am I even? watching and these people would not care if i lived or died and that ain't that crazy but then that's what it is though because i think the same thing with anything i post is like who actually even cares like i'm the only one that cares about this but yep. this is what social media is so i'm just gonna do it because it seems like nowadays the only reason people are posting content is as a career or something and yeah i have to get money out of it no one's like using social media just to use it anymore i've already made 20 rants about this about the infographics and stuff and you know what i thought about the other day though real quick at what point does charlie d'amelio like there's a day where she has to change her profile from the BLM pick. Mm. When did she do Wait, that? She didn't change it yet. Even if she did though, but did she change it? I don't know. I think she I think she did. Because I'm pretty sure she got hate when she did it. Because I think about what people do like for trends and for and a lot of times these influencers get pressured to post things and speak about certain topics. I know this girl's not gonna watch this uh vlog, so I don't mind saying this. But this girl I follow who I'm about to unfollow right now posts a lot of fitness stuff. Will give the most sort of meaningless updates. It's, it means everything to her, but means probably nothing to anybody else. Really can't believe I would complain about averaging 40 to 50 second handstands when 10 seconds is so difficult. If you need me, I'll be on a wall fixing my alignment. And I'm just thinking, number one, I'm like, why am I following this motherfucker? But then I realize why. It's just a cute girl that thinks people care about her handstands. I'm like, man, you just have a crazy fat ass and that's why people are like replying to your stories. But isn't it like, that's what you have to do though? It's like, what else are you gonna do? Should you just say nothing? Is it better to just only speak when your words will improve upon the silence? Like, yeah, things are cringy online and what people post, but it's like, people also know they have to play a game and follow a certain thing. So do you just kind of dismiss that and be like, okay, they're just doing their, they're trying to build an audience. So they have to do these stories and these, but then it's like, okay, people don't like authenticity. So so what do you follow and I don't just putting a sort of cherry on top. Everyone only knows how to speak in digital formats when, but in person, people are weird and awkward and don't know how to make eye contact and don't know what to say. But in person it's LOL, I'm dead, post this meme, whatever. Like they've gotten more capable of speaking over a phone than digitally than actually in real life. So when I be 
trying to talk to people in person. I'm like, hey, what's up? Then I just get. Well, yeah, because everybody hangs out at their house and they just Snapchat one foot across from each other. Everybody's just on their phone. And I'm sure they talk, but what are they really talking about? Now we're at bowling. Didn't I beat everyone here last time or what happened last time? Not I'm me. trying to think. I don't remember bowling with you guys ever. I think we did it one time. We let Ryan win mini golf, but this, <laughs> this is my bread and butter. Oh yeah, let's see if y'all can do a little get back here. Uh, I was in the bowling club in high school. I don't know if you guys knew that. Do you have a case for your bowling ball? No, I didn't have a, a bowling ball. I wanted to get my own though. When was the last time y'all bowled? You beat mini golf and so you had more reps in than It's that. been... But I genuinely don't think I've done bowling in over a year. Yeah, it's been about it's been a year. like half a year for me probably. Let's get it. Am I still not allowed to wear Blancy? I'm cold. <laughs> My other jackets were. I think that like the anti Balenciaga wave like vanished. Oh, so you're good. You could get these gold for free and I'm going hair high. First thing we go and die. Bet you miss it, dead guy. You got a. Nope. Okay, I'm warming up because see, they, they wax these uh, bowling alleys a little differently than what I'm used to. Start. I just focus on getting it down the middle. That's all I care about. Hey. Oh wow. See how I'm warming up though? Come on now. He's doing the straight shot. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a little lesson. No, you need to throw, you need to throw it differently. You're gonna blow your arm out, like you have to bring it back, keep it strong here, and just roll it straight. Oh, you gotta bring it back here and then drive it forward. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, that was good. That was the best one so far. <laughs> that was a good one. Here we go. surprised right now actually. <laughs> serious now and Matt said whoever gets a, a strike first he's gonna give him a hand job whoever gets the first strike almost damn I'm going crazy right now it's it's about like a mind-body connection I like your technique too because you use the like you use the crossbar the line it up with your hand like Ex I gotta try that. exactly You gotta do like a twist your wrist at the last second. You guys are gonna see a nice curved strike here. <laughs> All right, here, here, here we go. Ah. Ryan, you're doing pretty good. I'm not doing power, I'm doing finesse. Split conversion. Getting straighter. There we go. Oh, this one's for all of you guys watching. I wouldn't miss. Not for you guys. How oh, I only get one? That was pathetic. That's a strike. Yeah, imagine, I've, I've actually been here every weekend practicing. He like finds out we're gonna uh, go bowling next week for the vlog, so he just practices all week. That was a good try, Ryan, that was a good try. I was trying to knock him and shit. What rhymes with spite? <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below. Because I'm getting like a little nervous with the camera, so.
would say smooth conversion. It's a hard, you know, hard shot, but someone like me, casual. Oh wow! Yeah, that's it. That's crazy. It's because I know you haven't been winning the games and stuff, but this year we wanted to, you know, make you feel a little better by yourself for the vlog, so. I think what it was is I was celibate for like six months and then I just had sex last night. Look at my score, one, 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 angel numbers. I'm blessed. That's God right there. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Ooh. Wow. It's usually after the first game, I start warming up. Like the second game, I go crazy, but we're only hit one game today, so you can't see my best. When you're playing soccer, your first 100 touches aren't your best. Is it only one game that we bought? Oh, man. Let's get the picture of that. That's just a number on a screen. You think I care about digital pixels? It's like when you're so rich, you just want to give money more money to people. So it's just kind of like one of those things. Like I'm tired of being at the top. Did you guys want to post the um, thing on your story? Your snaps? Post it on your Snapchat, the score. I was gonna post it on my Snap. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna snap some other stuff today. Just posted it on my story. It wasn't even my win, it was God's win. God did it, right? Shout out to Lil Nas X. Is he like Christian now, or what is that? It's just like a shocking thing that he posts. I don't think he's he, actually Christian. Because he crossed up the devil. Cross. So wouldn't it be good that he crossed the devil like that? Because if it's wordplay like that, it's like double the power. Meaning. He did one mean thing to the devil, dunked on the devil. That's good, right? Because before he was fucking the devil and shit. There's kids right here, my bad. You know what I noticed as we were leaving? Where the hoes at? Oh, what's I that? I didn't even wear the shoe. Yeah. So you actually cheated. You gotta think outside the box. I got actual real grip on the court. Is it called a court? An alley. Alley, bowling alley. It's like, did, did you really win? Think about it. You're gonna sleep tonight and just think about that. Did you really win today? I even had a vision last night that I was gonna win. I don't know, man. It's just something. Something he in the sex air. One time after. Bro, months. I swear to God. <laughs> I'm just unlocks powers. <laughs> no, because I was feeling kind of weird. It was month like six and I had had no <laughs> sex. And then I just did it and I was like, man. Rob said, who's got the best intro noise or in like the rap game? Damn, that's a hard one. You know, I really liked Pop Smoke when he'd be like, uh, uh, not even his R.A. be like, uh, just on some, uh, huh? Do you know how cool of a rapper you can be when you can say your name? Pop Smoke. How do you coin a sound and make it sound cool too? You can say it and not be cool. Well, sometimes it don't work with all the names. And then there's Drake just saying, yeah. Yeah. But it's like, you can hear that and you know Drake's coming. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> or even like Tory Lanez, he'll say like, Tory, when he's about to do something, I'm like, damn. Cause imagine any other rapper says their first name before they, their verse, it will be corny. It's like Gerald. <laughs> yeah, right? Like wouldn't that sound Gerald. kind of crazy? Look, no homo, I'm a Drake dick rider. That's pretty homo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's sad in this society? You can't even be a supporter without people saying you're a, gla you're a glazer, you're a dick rider. Yeah, all these new terms are actually kind of annoying. Like if you hate on something, you're a hater. And if you support something, you're a dick rider. Would you rather be a hater or a glazer? Hater or a dick rider. <laughs> Okay, or dick rider. <laughs> I was trying to use a different term. <laughs> I'd rather be a dick rider. Man, that's gonna get clipped, man. The context, you didn't get the full context. If I'm like, man, when Drake says, yeah, that's the dopest shit ever, dick rider. It's like you almost have to support them in silence. Like, Damn. You know what I mean, people don't that's really sad. say things. Yeah, because if you publicly just put Drake's my favorite artist on your story, you would get shit, people would still find a way to shit on you. Chef G has a cool one. It's just like, Chef G, Chef G, Chef G. And then he like comes in. I think Amigos still have those like iconic ones. They kind of like popularize the whole ad lib thing, yeah. I would say. Why is it that the baby gets absolutely incinerated for having the quote unquote same flow, but Migos never got that hate? Migos was still more diverse with the songs they put out, though. I think Quavo usually had the same flow. Takeoff and uh, Offset King. Rest in peace to take off. I play his music all the time because it's like, like, damn, he was really good. But I do think he was the best Migos. I do though. too, I do too. Really There's no way Offset sounds different on any song. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm trying to think if Lil Yachty has a, like a, some sort of he catch. Freestyle that I found on YouTube. It was really good. 
Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Lil Boat. Okay, am I a hater if I don't like Lil Yachty? I like Lil Yachty. I don't. What don't you like about Lil Yachty? I don't like his sound personally. His voice to me doesn't sound good. I like his image and I like his brand. I just don't like the songs. But that his songs and his music is his brand. Though. He's just got a powerful image. I gotta show you some songs you might not have heard maybe. Yeah, I haven't gone through the whole, what's it called, Disc discography? Discography? And he's not afraid to like try new things and be a true artist. And I think that's why I like artists like that and Tyler the Creator and um, even some like Oliver Tree. Have you guys heard about him? I sat next to Oliver Tree at the Air Rack video. Kind of shows you don't have to look good to be a popular music artist. No, that opened my eyes too because I'm like, he really curated this character and then turned it into an artist and turned it into a whole career. It's a route, you know? It's like some people could be themselves or you create, some people create a character. What's up with Doja Cat just being like a Satanist? Like, what is that? She used to be like a quirky, oh, funny meme, quirky girl with the music video with the cow costume or whatever that was and is now like a slippery serpent demon. I think Cat Williams would know. I shouldn't even speak on it. They're gonna put, put me in a fucking burlap sack and put me in a trunk. What yeah. if someone came up to you in a suit, Ryan, and was like, offered you the deal of a lifetime? Like, I don't know, what's your like dream? To, what if they're like, you could be- Unlimited head. You said what's my dream, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, what if someone said you could be a star of a movie and then you have, your whole music career will take off this year. Exactly whatever you, what you want. Okay. But you have to do these things that they're talking about online, like these conspiracy, like you have to wear a dress, you have to hook up with this producer guy. Ah. But nobody would know. And it still might still all be conspiracy. Like people could either think you did it or not, but you get all this stuff. My knee jerk reaction is no to getting taken to pound town by an old 70 year old man video director. I also think about the long term repercussions. Like, okay, you get pounded for like, all right, how long does he last? 10 minutes? Less than 10. It's like, it could even be like two minutes like a quickie but then i think you know people who have been essayed i only hear about that leaving long-term psychological damage for them where they need therapy and to me it ain't worth it because i'm obviously so straight that something like that i think could have the potential to scar me in the long term and what's the money and fame worth if i'm waking up in a cold sweat every night having flashbacks of this thing entering me you know but you'll have like a grammy and an oscar you know it's right. <laughs> it also is funny people like rich people like money and fame isn't everything but it's like, well, let me get famous and rich first. And then I'll like decide if it ain't worth it. But what about you? Two minute pound town from grandpa. I would want to just like go all the way I can until doing that stuff, <laughs> just to see what it's like. Like, is there really someone in a suit that comes up to you or do you mm. get some sort of cryptic email? Like what's the process? Is Noah getting taken to pound town? No, I can't do that. What if it's Timothy Chalamet you have to hook up with? Come on, everyone <laughs> likes Timothy. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. But that's what I'm saying. What if it's everything but getting fucked? You gotta wear a dress, you gotta bear yourself publicly da, da, da. is the kevin hart dressed that bad like he only did just put on a dress i haven't seen him really humiliate himself outside that and that wasn't really full humiliation but it's definitely and people aren't gonna watch it and be like haha look at him he's putting on a dress i think people watch it and be like oh look it's kevin hart in a dress for a funny bit but what's the deeper like sort of message with that i don't know are you gotta wear a dress and makeup for oh. a whole year and these little cameos of other popular whatever event you get production company, you get endless movies, you get ghost writers, you get anything you want. Wouldn't be as popular as white chicks. No one's watching white dudes. Why did they feel the need to write them as girls and not hire funny, two funny girls or something? See your statement there, two funny girls. I'm making a joke, that's it's satire. Oh, Ryan. If, all right, let's say you have to get, something has to happen to you from a man. Like something I'm, sexual? Something sexual, right. but they say you could pick the man. Which one's homo, like, all right, you're I a- I wouldn't want to pick. You're a, <laughs> you're a sign, either a sign someone or you get to pick which one's more sus that's one of those like does your mom know you're gay sort of things like <laughs> it's gay regardless and even gayer if you answer it like would you rather Lil Nas smash you or a random gay guy from a, a gay bar in North Hollywood it's like you can get hit from Lil Nas or James Charles oh do you go with the one who's more feminine like if you had to pick this is if you had to if you had because we ain't saying you have to. we're gonna blow your brains out you must make a decision right now all right is it smashing or are they giving me top because you can just close your eyes Time to play with the slime. I'm probably just gonna put this like on my dick tonight. Just you wake up, there's a hole in the middle. Conveniently shaped like a my dick. And then I make like a mold of it. And I started selling it. Fucked by Rhino. Rhino's horn. I don't think I have enough dick to be like proudly selling it. They'd see it like, damn, this is it? This is all you got? Let me smell it real quick. Is that a shark in there? Mm-hmm. What? But you see how these are like the off-brand, like, I don't know if I trust these ones. There has to be some chemicals. In yeah, they're probably, I'll probably have prostate cancer in like five weeks, but 
Um, let me show you a magic trick. This is an ordinary balloon, right? Inspect that. <laughs> no, I already know. I, this, I haven't done this one in a while. Okay. Ordinary balloon. Very ordinary. I, know, I just found another thing you can't look tough doing, blowing up a balloon. When's the last time you blew up a balloon? Think about it. Balloon, Rob's phone. What'd you do to my phone? And that's all, folks. I'm like a magician and shit. No one's gonna open up the thing right now out of the case. Thanks. Appreciate that. Now it's time for the slime. Mmm. Ooh, that's like a lot of good value for $2.99. Oh, is there sparkles in it? Oh, shit. Come on now. That's worth $2.99. Don't you just want to put your rest of your nuts on that? Not really. <laughs> oh, look at all the sparkles on the end now. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I hate sparkles. No, but then you just stick it back See, they on. Had a, they had a one that was all pink. You could have grabbed it all colored for <laughs> Like, fuck. You should have chose that. Why did I get the sparkle one? Look, you get a little whale. The smell is like... Oh, that doesn't smell right. It's not good, bro. Slimes be having that slimy smell. This nah. one's like worse. You know how slimes are like, you could buy slimes out, you could almost eat. Like it's, it mm -hmm. smells good, but this. Oh, that smells bad. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell you guys what this smells like. I could be entertained with this for a while. Bring this at the airport or some shit. Imagine you pull up to the party with this. I bring my gecko to functions. Cause then it's like, everyone's looking at you. So now I'm gonna start bringing this. Look at that. All right, that's pretty fun. This is chocolate coconut water. Ch Ooh. I've never been a coconut water fan. It's just this Instagram influencer who sent these to me. What every video on his Instagram is, you wanna try this? Uh, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you think it's terrible. And everybody's like, give it to me then. And everybody tries it, it's blown away. So I gotta see what the hype is. Let's definitely give it a go. Chocolate coconut water. Okay, should I wash my hands probably? I'm feeling like Lil Nas right now. What says low fat and dairy free? I know you're lactose tolerant. Yeah, so this, I might like these. Got you. There was once a cocoa tree planted next to a coconut tree. As fate would have it, their trunks, their trunks got tangled making for an adventure of a lifetime. Their journey led to this rich, creamy, nutritional drink made hydrated. Sounds as believable as the brown cows make chocolate milk. But I'm excited. I want to try this. Just, oh, did it have to be cold? Because then my head a little different on ice. I don't know. <laughs> well, that reaction. All right, do you think it'd be better if it was cold? Yeah, that's not a true test. Yeah, probably maybe it would be. We do have ice. I don't want to try it until it's cold. I'm I don't want to like, there you go. I'll try one. You got to try it iced. <laughs> It's like a glitch. <laughs> yeah, let it do its thing for a second. Let them hear it. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Okay, I need to try it cold then. It just almost tastes like chocolate milk, like a watered down chocolate milk. You good? It's interesting. Like I can't really taste the coconut, I don't think. I'm getting a coconut. Oh, aftertaste. Aftertaste. Would you keep drinking it? I wouldn't mind it, but I, I don't think I'm not, I'm not much of a chocolate fan though. Bring up the other flavor. So what's the benefit of coconut water? Like it's something you can drink, right? It's not too bad. Cause I had coconut straight out of the coconut and I, I just wasn't a fan of that. But people would love that. 19 grams of sugar though. Couldn't be me. But it's good sugar. People do drink coconut water. I do feel like, so um, you know what the benefit of this is? all I see is high sugar, which is probably just bad for you. So but shout out to the guy though. Yeah, I about to say, so it's probably like a, like a sweet soda, like just have your own little sweet drink. Oh, so this one is pineapple. Oh, pineapple. that seems like it could be a fruity delight. It's crazy after my bowling when I thought I would have been on top of the world. It's never what it seems. Like, you know, you try so hard to win in life and then you get that first place trophy and it like doesn't hit like you thought it would, you know? Yeah. So anyway, the drink, um. Reality. Here are seven health benefits of coconut water. Good source of several nutrients. May have antioxidant properties. May help lower blood sugar for people living with diabetes. Uh oh. May help prevent Prevent kidney stones, may support heart health. Okay, may, like, may. Will it or will it not? <laughs> I may beat you up. Are you or not? You may laugh at this video. Beneficial after <laughs> prolonged exercise. And they also said it has good nutri nu nutrients. What are they? Delicious source of hydration. Hydration. You know, I learned something that if something has to advertise itself as a health food, it's not a health food. If you look at broccoli or fucking eggs, ain't no eggs filled with protein. It, it just is healthy. Any whole food doesn't have to to tout that, tout? Tote, yeah. boast? Doesn't have to like brag that it's healthy. Whereas all the shit that's not actually healthy for you has to see no GMO, gluten free. Like aren't, yeah, like, aren't this Oreos- is a healthy drink. Like It's like low fat compared to what? All right, put some ice in there. We're gonna try the pineapple. I knew the ice machine would come in handy. Yeah, I actually fuck with that heavy. Here we go, pineapple coconut water. We do everything on the vlogs. Taste test, bowling, everything. All right, looks like it's pineapple. Different, um, sort of. <laughs> 
All right, how you feeling? The flavor of coconut in anything is just always jarring. So it's like you either have to like coconut or not. I don't think it's a bad drink though. So they're so like good if drinks. You, if you like pineapple. It, you Ooh. can taste the pineapple, or but it's, a, it's, a it's the coconut that's always gonna be overpowering when it's mixed in with something. But it doesn't taste bad. It's like if you love co like coconut, like you'll love that. Why do I taste more coconut than pineapple? That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's that's just, that might just mean it's that. jarring. It is coconut water. You guys ready for my taste test? Nah. This <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually done with the taste test for today. They sent me this, Seek Clear Protein. Are you tired of clumpy, gross protein powder things that make you feel sick when you try to oh, drink them? Yeah. This is straight free promo for them, unless we don't like it, then it's bad publicity. They sent me this, so it's just liquefied protein that is supposed to, it's 22 grams of protein, one scoop, and you put it in 14 to 16 ounces of water. Yeah, I'll just do one and we yeah, can drink out of that. This is reminding me of like ashes in the urn. Did you ever cremate yourself? Yeah, I'd, I'd be down for that. Like give a little necklace, ash necklace to some of my friends. Like, like, Everybody has a piece of you with them at all times. Yeah, you know. I've always thought about that. Like, what do I do? Or buried hole in the grave. Or if you have enough money, you do in the cryogenic freezing yourself just in case. For science? Then you wake up as like a science rat and you just- What the fuck? It's glass case. <laughs> 2003 to 2300 and it's like that that concept of like choosing what you want it don't even matter like at the end of the day it don't matter right like mmm protein i did work out today and i didn't take my protein shake. Mm -hmm. mm, i think like if it was in a water bottle i look a little crunchy. i smell it look everything's good don't worry damn it really did just dissolve like that i bet you shaking it would help i have it laid up here look just to get the clumps all the way out Look, here's the cap. This is clean. This one isn't clean. Okay, look. Uh, almost done. I'm almost there. Ooh. Ooh. It's like you're on vacation at the Bahamas or something. Where did they get the clear from? What do you mean, like? I guess it's like uh, not like a. Uh, it's not clumpy. It's like clumpy. They took it's out. Clear. They took out the thickening agent, all that nasty preservative crap. They took that out. Okay, but smell that though. Mmm. Okay. Now there's different flavors. <laughs> there's different flavors. That don't smell good. There's some chemicals in there. Hold on now. I'll stick to the regular protein. I'll stick with my cocoa water. It's not bad, but it has this like weird taste. Like it's the pineapple, the mango pineapple, but then it's also like this, what the fuck? It tastes like it's a fake protein, but it's obviously protein. I'm not used to that sort of protein, maybe. That's interesting. I do like the sweetness to it. it Remind me of Prime a little bit. Like four sips and I'm sick though, I feel like, mm. with that. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's bad at all. It's very... Well, especially if you only just need to chug it real quick for the workout, like I can do that. I could drink that. I don't think that wasn't that bad. If they had other flavors... Which they, they do. Have... They sent me all these. Oh, blue raspberry freeze? Yeah, I'm a sucker for the blue raspberries. Ooh, fruit punch. This kind of looks like piss with the foam and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I probably like this one. It's a little sweet. Mm. I don't know if I can drink that whole we thing. Try broccoli next, or how, how far are we gonna go with the taste test? Uh, I think we're done. I thought we were on like a healthy, like we're doing healthy stuff. So. We were gonna end the vlog popping the confetti, but oh yeah, but yeah, why not? Is it like a firework or what is that? No, just a string. Oh, it's dead ass. Be really messy. To end it with a bang outside. Yeah, we should probably go outside. Yeah, let's go outside. Let's do that, let's do that. Matt's gonna have a sip. Oh, hell. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see how like companies just compete against each other and just make different variations of the same thing? Mm -hmm. You've seen coconut water, but this is a new brand. You've seen protein, but this is a new protein. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing this. <laughs> oh, we're not gonna pop it from the top of the balcony? Oh yeah, we oh, can do yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could even pop it on the balcony of the water. We'll just rinse it off. Mmm, ASMR. <laughs> Oh, that smells so fucking bad. Oh, the carcinogens. All right, upstairs we go. So we literally just twist it and it goes. Twist. That's it. I think so. Yeah, I see twist it like that. The top goes this way, the bottom goes this way. Okay, yeah, the okay, confetti. Right. He's 26, bro. All right, thanks for... <laughs> 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 yeah, grow up. I'll Thanks for watching another Strawberry Park video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe like off the balcony? <laughs> oh. Oh. So that's going to leave a big mess outside. It, it's like the annoying, sticky, like, it's confetti, like, that doesn't come off. It's like all over you. And I think it's on me, too. Yeah. See, look, I just got, slime. it's just me and my slime, buddy. There, there. Dang, that actually. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, that, those materials don't mix well. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these pants are designer. Yo. Yeah, that's Yo. That Dollar King slime, bro. No, look, it comes up. Not your- <laughs> Oh shit, that looks bad. Well, you were saying those are your favorite pants, right? I just got them recently. Look, no, you just gotta roll it like this. Yeah, it's not coming up. It ain't coming up at all. Look, you just stick it and it comes off, look. <laughs> oh, 
Rob, help me. You know what to do, right? What? Why would it stick to my pants like this? And I heard slime doesn't come off. It stains. <laughs> Whatever. It's so fun to do this with. Oh, yeah. That's like... Let Matt get a good angle of that, like right here, you know? POV. Kind of looks like a cow tongue. But if you went to Barney's and seen this, people would buy that, actually. Like the slime <laughs> yeah, pant? Because yeah, you know gallery department does the paint? The Ain't slime. no one does the slime yeah. pants. I bought pants that already have paint on. What if Strawberry Park comes out with slime pants and we do some sort of coating on the pants where it looks like slime or glue or some shit? Because everyone's done this paint splatter. Now you're thinking. If we made slime, would y'all cop it? Would you cop our slime? Oh. We making anything this year. Everything and everything. Ryan really loves doing that motion with that thing. It's just like the how quickly it can turn into a, you know, horse cock, you know? I'm starting to realize like why he really wanted that slime. It's all making sense now. No, because it reminds me of olden days when I'd be at like the candy maker shop. And they'd the taffy. The taffy. Oh, <laughs> See, it's y'all are perverted. Your brains are sexualized, yeah. not like mine. Until you take that into your room with you tonight. And then who knows what's gonna happen. <laughs> and so what if I have intercourse with this tonight? At least it's not gonna yap to me about who I'm following on Instagram. That's true. After. And, and it, it could almost be like form fitting. No, exactly. Like, damn, you're tight. <laughs> okay, we're gonna end it here.